Ah, il faut te laisser donne, oui, un vis uh, vintage black box of uh, Packard Electronics. I did not find it on eBay, I did find it on to the French uh, equivalent of uh, Craigslist. And it was actually very cheap with uh, a price of 30 euros including shipping. So I had to take it because it is an old mysterious box. Branded AMD BA, so AMD is uh, Avion Marcel Dassault, BA is not British Airlines but Breguet Aerospace. Uh, obviously, uh, military reference number 50 27. So I did a search Google for this reference number and I did find absolutely nothing. Serial number 188. On date code of October 1965. So just a box with uh, three connectors plus one that is uh, covered. Four fuse fuses, two uh, securing points, and it is all. So I have no idea of what it is for, but it might actually be a weapon controls or something like this. So I did already undo uh, the screws, which were in quite uh, bad condition. So you can see the case is not very good also. Maybe I will repaint it. I am not sure. So the screws, the original screws of the case were one like this and two like so, very worn out. And they are weird uh, kind of screws because they are not metric. And they do, do not seem to be completely imperial, but the size of the nut, for example, here is metric. Quite weird, but uh, you know, so Alfred, luckily enough, in my huge stock of screws, I was able to find replacement ones like this and like this for the back, which are matching the thread. So, what do we have in here? It is a pretty heavy box. Uh, 25 cm long, 20 cm in this direction, and quite a block full of electronics. So it is 1965. What do you think we have as a technology available? We have mostly miniature vacuum tubes, a whole lot of them. We have uh, some transistors and diodes. And it is all. So uh, you can see we have a modular construction here with this module that can get uh, be removed. Big. We will start by the front with this huge wire harness, but that is uh, wrapped in some kind of uh, fiberglass tape. For some reason, all the connectors on this thing have. Uh, a back uh, coating with uh, silicon. Here also you can see. Here also. Here. It is quite uh, well because the box itself is not watertight. So why did they need to do this to the connectors? I am not sure. Also they did this here onto some uh, relays. And things like this. Quite interesting. So on the front we have only the connectors, the big ground bus bar here at the back, uh, power distribution wires. Here we have one board with mostly uh, capacitors, resistors. We have one little vacuum tube here at the back, and the three devices here that are all deep, but luckily enough. I was able to find other ones in my stock from another equipment. So they are things like this. So these ones have legs, these ones have pins, but it is the same thing. Le prototype mechanic relay Hugon. So it is some kind of a little shielded relay. Very nice uh, detail you can see. I have three of them with uh, almost matching serial numbers. So they came out from a single piece of equipment. And this one came with a little uh, assorted cover, here you can see. Very cute little thing. 
So we have a three of them here at the back, but they are a little bit uh, in worse condition. You can see the big wire harness. Connector here to this module that I will undo. Some uh, transformer coated in brown paint. Mysterious device here, or maybe because the terminals of the transformer. On the side here, a lot of uh, discrete components with, uh, you can see, uh, point to point wiring. Shielded relay. So we have a number of different flavors of resistors. We have this model. We have this one. We have regular like this. And believe this, we have another model here with a ceramic case and sealed and caps. Same thing for the capacitors. We have this model, this model, this one. And I believe uh, yet another one elsewhere. So really, weird selection of parts. Here we have these things. They are uh, interconnects to the uh, miniature vacuum tubes. You can see legs of the vacuum tube tubes are poking on this side. And they are actually here clamped in this uh, metal parts. So like you find in military radios of the same era two trimmers on the whole bunch of these uh, black boxes which are inductors or uh, transformers potentiometers here at the back you will see better one better here with a dial and a lock nut on the potentiometer here a lot more of the little vacuum tubes so can I try to pop yes out of the way one of the covers but actually you have to pry open the part here and it will damage it. So I cannot even read the reference of the vacuum tubes, but there is a whole bunch of them. For about the construction, you can see folded metal parts. This part is removable and can be, uh, I will do it. But the other ones here, even if you have screws here, you are uh, tied by the wire harness so you cannot uh, once it is, it is for the factory, but once it is together, you cannot undo them. Here, a lot more stuff, more uh, mysterious units here, shielded cans. They do not seem to be relays. It is written M8A and M5A, and it is all. And exactly the same set of components here, you can see. Same thing with what seems to be here, little uh, coils or something like this. Nice uh, stack here of parts. You can see. They did uh, put uh, resistors over the capacitors. And really nice uh, construction, this thing. So I will undo this middle, middle module because we need to have a better look at this. Now it's just a matter of pulling. We get instantaneously a better view at this uh, assemblies. Nice uh, fluid relay here. One more transformer inductor here. E connector on the other side here. Okay. Then here we have. One more layer of electronics, exactly the same flavor you can see. And we have this complicated assembly that I will undo for you. Some kind of uh, servo loop mechanism. So usually they are used as uh, some kind of uh, analog memory. They get set at one position and uh, Later, when the information changes, 
Uh, you just need to reset the new position and the difference can be used to know what it was. Something like this. But weird stuff here with three nice units, electromechanical units. So it should come off. Like this. So here you have a much better look at the vacuum tubes. Quite a lot of them, but replacing one should be quite uh, tedious because you need uh, to access the solder joints here at the back. In particular, the ones here and the rear will be very hard to access to replace the tube. Interesting why they are not socketed. So here we have this assembly. It is called a uh, Recopy, recopy by GAM Dassault. It's on serial number. So, yes, it is some kind of a servo loop thing. We have one Sagem motor generator, so generate, uh, motor and the generator, as you can see actually. Yes, we have two uh, units in this thing. All the wires are connected here on the back with this uh, group. We have win here one synchro unit. Yes, regular synchro with five uh, contacts. And last unit here, Sagem again, but here I cannot read. It seems it is one more synchro. Yes. But here we have some gearbox or something like this. And probably in the middle here a set of gears. But it will be complicated to access because of this uh, cable loom I cannot uh, easily undo. You can see the screws are not uh, accessible. So it is probably just uh, no two gears connecting the things together. Quite interesting, the screws here were very rusty, but I was able to uh, unlock them at least. I know they are not locked. And the neighbor is making noise. Okay, so I guess it is actually all for this unit, so I am very happy with it for the price, really. Uh, and it was my first uh, purchase onto this uh, website. And there is actually one interesting detail. About this thing, the day I received the parcel, I sold on eBay one other box from Marcel Dassault I had in my collection for 20 years. On the same day, I received this parcel. So actually, I did give to the postman the box, the parcel with the old Marcel Dassault box. It was a little one with just a few parts inside, and I received this one instead at the same moment. What are the odds after 20 years of keeping the device that the day you get rid of it, you get another one of the same manufacturer? Okay, so excuse me for the background noise. It is totally not my fault. I will clean this a little bit because uh, it is actually quite dirty, this connector. And I will put this back together. So really a nice uh, unit, completely unknown uh, function. But I believe it might be weapon related, missile related, or something like this. Given the lack of uh, details or information you found, uh, you find about it, even on the box you have no information whatsoever. So, must be some special equipment. So, thanks for watching. Bye bye.